Hi, this is Graham Riley. I'm an application engineer with Keysight's EDA Group. Uh, I'm coming to you today from uh, IMS 2021. I'm glad to be here. I'd like to show you today uh, some things related to system view and radar design. System view is a digital engineering flow tool that will allow you to take representations of data and models from many different sources and combine them to produce a system level type result. Uh, what I'm going to focus on today is specifically related to radar systems and some of the new things coming up in System View 2022. This is uh, a brand new interface that's going to come up. Um, this is a visualization for scenarios for radar. This allows you to uh, configure uh, objects within a scenario. So the radar itself, a jammer, some targets, set up um, uh, their paths the, with waypoints which you can change and edit. Um, you can also then set up the radar signal exactly as you would want it. And you can also add clutter. So if I just um, go up here and just click along a little further in the display, here you'll see this is the radar signal being configured. Uh, it allows you to do many different things, everything from changing the modulation type to the face coding. You can change the PRI, you can change the bandwidth, and so on and so on. So that's uh, the flexibility. Why are we doing it this way? Well, this is because this gives you access to the simulator while it's running an analysis like this. So uh, if you have a, a radar scenario like this one, you can go ahead and you can find out how well your system will perform with jamming and with clutter and those kinds of things. Here we have a baseline. This diagram here shows what we saw before. And you can see here that we have a signal to noise margin in this baseline of 40.5. I'll just quickly scroll through a couple of these for you so you can see some examples. Here's one where we've added clutter and you can see the clutter uh, has been added into the equation. There's still no jammer at this point. Signal to noise is 6.7. Here we've added the jammer and the clutter. We're still able to do a good job though. You notice that the target is at 20 kilometers and the speed is correct. Now, if we bring the jammer in, now we have a system failure. If we then bring the target closer, everything works okay. So that's uh, the scenario visualization tool that's coming up in System View 2020, 2022. So onto my next example. Um, I think you'll all be familiar with the radar range equation if you're into the radar business. What we've done here is we've taken that range, radar range equation and used it to generate a what's called a Blake coverage diagram. And the Blake coverage diagram is the one you see here on the left. It has a marker. Uh, you can see here this is for a probability of detection of 0 0.9, and this gives you information on that diagram. It's generated using uh, System View Spectrosys engine. Um, I'll just give you a quick uh, overview of that. So, this is the radar cascade analysis associated with that Blake diagram. You can see here that we have um, on the left side, we have the desired channel power, and on the right side, we have the uh, carrier to noise ratio, and here are the, those things tabulated versus the component stage, and you see those across the bottom. This allows you to see the behavior of the system on the, all the way through. And here is the, once we've, once we've run that analysis, we're able to get the information necessary to create this, uh, this um, uh, Blake uh, diagram. So that's, uh, that's the second demonstration I wanted to give you. And the last one, and we'll go up here to the upper screen. So this is System View generating um, different kinds of pulses, different kinds of radar pulses here. You can see on the left, we have a Barker code, we have an LFM staggered pulse, and we have a CW pulse hopper. And these are all summed together and sent out to our uh, uh, vector signal analysis software package where it's doing pulsed analysis of, of the information that's coming from System View. So this is, uh, this is a great way to show the value of linking design software through to our measurement software so we're able to actually see and analyze all of the information coming out of System View uh, right here. I can quickly just show you the measurement setup and pulse properties. Um, if you look at the analysis here you can see based upon what we're sending in we're also able to detect that on the way out and over here on the left each of those is then identified in the sequence so that's it three three brief things that i've shown you today um, 
the uh, scenario um, editor, if you like, the way, the way it allows you to work with jammers and targets and those kinds of things. We showed the Blake coverage diagram, and here is the linkage between uh, system view and the uh, vector signal analysis software to do pulse and radar pulse measurements. So that's it from me, Graham Riley. Um, if you have any more questions, please go to keysight.com and you'll find plenty more details there.